Alfie. I said, are you ready? Okay, Alfie is, you can, oh, no, just, there we go. Alfie is ready, um, and uh, I'm ready too. Okay, so I've got my headphones on to begin with, so this is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Anyway, welcome to the gang. Uh, we are representing some interesting socks today with some shorts and a t-shirt. This is the look we're going for. This is what we've got, guys. Give me poor Alfie. Nope, and Penny, you're gonna sit down over here. Okay, so hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh, and Alfie has already left us. So, and apparently Penny is out of the door as well. So, it's just gonna be me and you today. So, we're talking about, uh, what are we talking about today? I've got a couple of different topics. Um, we're gonna be talking about today, like why you might not be seeing results. Okay, so before you do anything, Make sure you subscribe to this channel and also go and get the podcast because you guys need to like listen to it in the car. We want to go review it. So like do your girl a favor, go on over to the podcast, either if it's on uh, Shopify, I keep doing that, Spotify or iTunes. I can hear some little feet pattering around um, and she's going to start playing with the toy. Guess it's going to be great. Penny, can you not do that right now? Can you hear those little feet? Uh, so... Go ahead and uh, and enjoy it on those platforms. So we're going to get started right now. Penny, you always pick. They, every single time I get on a call, you just ask my team. Every single time I get on a call, they decide that they want to play and, and are squeaking around. Uh, Penny, no. Come here. Come here. Penny, come here. See, they're so well trained. Okay, that's enough of talking about the dogs. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so welcome back everybody. I'm just gonna get myself nice and comfortable here on my sofa. If you hear Penny playing with her toy, um, I cannot control her every single time I get on a phone call with my team or I'm just doing something that requires me to be speaking to a camera, she decides that it'd be a great idea to actually start playing with her toy and now she's kind of spasming in her bed. Uh, so no problem. We are gonna talk today about why you guys might not be seeing results so sometimes in life we kind of go through phases and we're like i feel like i'm doing everything right but i'm just not seeing the results so i'm going to help you guys today with getting those results alfie is now deciding that he wants to jump up this is this is absolute chaos today can you see that's absolute chaos penny you're really not helping okay Guys, I'm getting focused. You guys are really putting me off. And then Alfie's now staring at me because he wants to jump up, but the mic's in the way. So, Alfie, come on. You want to come here? Okay, now you're walking away. I don't even know what you want. Um, so, sorry guys. Bear with me. Why might you not be seeing results, right? Penny, that's it. I'm, I'm taking it away from you. Every single time you do this. No. Nope. People need to listen to why they might not be seeing results. Okay, I apologize. So for me personally, um, and I'm gonna talk more about my journey with an eating disorder, anorexia, and getting down to about, I think I was like 86 pounds. I'm just gonna adjust this up a little bit. There we go. Um, got down to 86 pounds. And I just, I guess at the time, I didn't really know of another option. I didn't, do any research, I didn't do any building my knowledge to find out why my body was like this or why I couldn't get results or even what I was looking for. Like I don't even remember there being like a time where I, I was like I needed to be healthy. It was all about being skinny and getting down to that size zero. So I was seeing those results because I got down to 86 pounds I wasn't seeing like ab definition. I wasn't seeing tone. And that was, that's kind of confusing. You're like, well, surely if I lost more weight, then I'd be able to see muscle. Turns out that it just doesn't work that way. And I'm really gonna talk about my journey with anorexia, uh, maybe next week or the week after. So I wanted to talk about today about why, just a quick little jump in here about why you might not be seeing results, okay? There are a couple of reasons. 
Alfie, if you're gonna stare at me this whole time, it's really off-putting. So can you come here? You walk away every single time. Look, you can come and jump up here. Come on, up you come. This is my life. This is, I've got two very strange dogs. I know, I just don't even know what to do with them. Um, so, okay. Why might you not be seeing results? Penny, stop looking at my arm. Why might you not be seeing results? Ask yourself that question. Do you know the answer to it? Why might you not be seeing results? Okay, if you're like, you know what, Rebecca? I just, I'm at a loose end. I have done everything and I'm still not seeing those results. So let's go through seven areas that might help you in finding out why you're not getting results. The first one, ha, huh, you're gonna hate this one. You just haven't been doing it long enough. This could be that you are trying to lose weight, you're trying to glow, grow your glutes, you're trying to build a business, you are trying to get a certain grade at school, you are trying to get a certain position in your job. And you're not there yet, and you're like, why am I not seeing results? And it can be frustrating, you just haven't done it long enough. Really, if you've only done something for two weeks, two months, give yourself 90 days. 90 days, and not 90 days of like, okay, I have weekends off and I don't work towards that goal then. 90 days. I know, hands down, that you will have a result if you do something for 90 days. I'll put money on it. You will get a result in 90 days. So that first thing is that you just haven't been doing it long enough. Give yourself time. Have a sense of urgency about your goals because if you procrastinate, you're gonna be waiting forever. Think about have you actually done it for long enough? And if you go, yes, I have, I challenge you to say, no, you haven't, because you would have seen those results. So if you're like, I've been doing it, I've been trying so hard, I've been doing this for ages, keep going. Keep going. Why are you gonna quit on something that you really, really want? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Keep going. You gotta do something for long enough. Second thing, you have to fully commit. When I have an idea, and I've got, I've got so many things going on right now that are about to be executed in the next three weeks, it's gonna be like, oh my goodness. I never really have any expectation of how well they're going to do because I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to commit to it. We've just had some resistance bands come out. And honestly, I was just so excited to have some resistance bands with my name on it. And that somebody somewhere would be like, ooh, these are cool. We started our promotion today and over a hundred resistance bands in one day has gone out. My mind is blown. The girls in the office are like, Rebecca, please, we cannot hand write all of these notes because our hands hurt. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's, let's have a plan B. I'm not gonna make you write out and then be, I'm signing all of them, but we're like, we probably need a plan B on this. So I was, and, and these resistance bands, by the way, took six months to just get the template that we wanted, get the actual product design, then it got sent to us, but it got sent to the wrong address in the USA and that whole shipment was lost. So it's probably about nine months of developing this and getting it out. And at not one point did I go, ah, ah, um, yeah, no, 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 not gonna do this today. No, I was committed to the experience to the journey and that getting the final product. And if somebody loved them, 
fantastic and I love reading the comments on Instagram like I've got my burn bands and I love them I'm like oh as long as one person loves them I'm happy so when you commit to something or when you decide that you want something you have to fully commit I got another thing coming out with an exclusive phone call that people are gonna get with this new app and the system to set it up, like yesterday, my brain hurt so hard. It was like so confusing to create this structure and I've got no idea how it's gonna do. I hope people love it. I'm committed to going through with something until the end, until it's done. People say, well, how long do I have to do this for? You do this until You've got the results that you want. I mean, why is there, why is there, an, why are you going to stop doing something? Now, I am very strict with deadlines. Okay, so if I set myself a deadline and the people that I work with, I'm like, this is when this needs to be done and this is when this needs to be done. Okay, so I'm strict with deadlines, but I'm not going to just stop something because I don't even know why people stop. I just don't even understand that. Because if you really want something, you have to be in it for the long run and you have to fully commit. Fully, fully commit. It's going to be hard. It's going to be fun. You might get results at the end. You might not. You might get a little bit of a result. You're always going to get a result if you stick with it, if you're consistent, if you're committed and that you don't give up. Okay? So you haven't seen results yet because you haven't fully committed. I get people come up to me, oh, Rebecca, oh, I just, I really wanna grow my business and like, oh, I really wanna get results and it's just not happening. I'm like, okay, let, let's take a look at, you know, what you've been doing. Okay, well, sometimes I'm like, well, it is happening. It's just going a little bit slower than you want it to, but it is happening. And maybe if you change X, Y, and Z, and you put a bit more emphasis in it, you're going to get better results. Think about that. Have you been doing something long enough? The answer is no, if you haven't got the results that you want. And if you haven't got results because you haven't fully committed, that's easy. Fully commit. Fully commit. Number three. This is a weird one. You're not getting results because you're not enjoying it. Now, aha, there's gonna be a lot of things in life about getting results that you are not going to enjoy. So I want to flip your mindset here. I'm not enjoying this. I'm not enjoying losing weight. I'm not enjoying having to like eat this food and like I'm not having to enjoy like building my business and starting from scratch. No, I get that. It sucks sometimes. What you have to think about is what you're going to get on the other side. What is going to happen when you have got the result that you want? How are you going to celebrate then? How are you going to feel then? There are so many icky sticky things that I have to go through in my business, working with people, creating stuff, it's time consuming, it's all hours of the day, and I know it's just got to happen to be able to get where I want to be. So ask yourself today, are you just telling yourself, I just don't like this because you're not even thinking about what can happen at the end? What's at the end of the rainbow? A pot of gold. And uh, when we were in Iceland and Norway, I was trying to convince Corey to go to this end of the rainbow because I'd never seen the end of the rainbow. I wanted to double check. There was only gold there. And I saw the end of the rainbow and it just kind of disappears into the ground. Anyway, you've got to get to the end of your rainbow. What is holding you back from getting what you want? To me, this... To me, it doesn't make sense because if you really want something, you will fight so hard for it. 
So if you're not fighting hard for something, it just means you don't know why you're doing it. And it's not a priority. I hate that word. I can't, I, I've never said that word. For, do not like that word because I find it very difficult to say. You're not making it a priority. It sounds better when I say it quicker, right? So most of the time, my business comes first. And when I work out, I'm filming videos, I might get to a gym class, whatever, I love it. When I start to put my focus into being like, ooh, like I really wanna get results now, if I want to get more results, if I wanna change up my body, I need to make going to the gym a priority. Just like you guys. If you really want results and you really wanna change everything, that's what you need to do. If you're not enjoying it right now, you're not enjoying the process, you're not enjoying, like some stuff you're not gonna enjoy, welcome. Welcome to it. But you know what? If you're willing to do the work that someone else isn't gonna do, you're gonna get the type of things that other people don't have. You gotta go that extra mile. Right, number four, plateau. Anybody ever hit a plateau? Oh yes. Rebecca, I've just got stuck. Okay, by the way, weight loss, weight gain is not linear. What I mean by that is that you don't just lose a pound and then lose a pound the next week and it's the same. Some weeks you're not gonna change. That is normal. That's just how it goes. Plus, if you are weighing yourself on a scale that doesn't tell you the difference between how much muscle you have and how much fat you have, it's really hard to measure anything. Because you could have lost like a pound of fat and gained a pound of lean muscle, and your scale's gonna say the same thing. So it's not gonna be that accurate. What do you do when you hit a plateau? Okay, you get a bit stressed about it, I, I hear you. Some solutions. You have to be more dialed in with your nutrition plan. You have to increase your weights. You might need to change up your workout. That's why on the app we have a different type of exercise routine every day, from yoga to Pilates to HIIT to weights to cardio. You need to shock your body. You need to do more. You need to be even more particular with your nutrition plan. You need to be more specific with your workouts. You need to increase your weights. A few things in handling a plateau. What about if you hit a plateau in your business? Guess what? That happens too. How do you get out of a plateau in your business? Very simple. You find new people. New people that are interested in your product. New people that are interested in finding out what it is that you do. New solves all. Write that down. New solves all. New stuff, new people, new products, new mindset. New. You need new. Don't forget the old. But if you're hitting that plateau, you need something new. Remember that. If I have a plateau, I need something new. Next one. Five. Sometimes we think we're eating really healthy. I used to think that, and I used to have Cheerios for breakfast. And I realized, well, obviously, because Cheerios, it's cereal. You're like, well, cereal's good for breakfast, right? That's just what you have for breakfast. No. Cereal's not great for you for breakfast. It's got no protein in it. It's got no vitamins and minerals, no good fats. I think there's, there's carbs in there, there's empty. Empty circles that float around in some milk. Not the healthiest breakfast. So I thought that I was eating everything healthy. I really thought that I was feeding my body good food. Till I was 25 and I discovered a nutrition plan. I had never even come across a nutrition plan before. To be honest, I don't even, I didn't remember even them existing. Like I was like, oh, so there's, there's this thing called a nutrition plan and people help you with nutrition. They help you with food. What even is that? And I was so intrigued because I'm such a nosy person. Like nosy, not necessarily nosy, interested. I like to think, I like to see everything. Like, get, show me everything. Show me all the options. Probably gonna say yes to all of them. Corey knows I'm the easiest person to sell to. 
I'm like, okay, sounds good. Let's go. Um, and upsell. Great. I'm queen of uh, the the queen of upsell. So when I started this this plan, oh, and here is Savvy the squirrel that is now outside my room. See, it's cause she, she, this squirrel is coming every. So quick side note. One of the girls that works for me in the office, when she stayed at my house, um, because, so I'm staring at the squirrel. She stayed at my house because she was looking after the dogs and she decided, I don't know why, she decided it'd be a good idea to feed a squirrel outside some granola bar. Well, now this squirrel, which is literally half the size of Alfie, comes every single day waiting to get fed granola. And if the dogs saw the, him, her, Savvy the squirrel, would go crazy. So I'm just hoping that I'm keeping the dogs quiet right now and nobody can, nobody is seeing the squirrel right now, apart from me. It, it, it has no problem coming all the way up to the window. Okay, so I used to think I was eating healthy. I used to really believe like I had it down. So when I heard these things called, oh, someone's going to set you up with a nutrition plan. So, oh, that sounds fancy. I'll have one of those. Got signed on my nutrition plan. I dropped 6% body fat in six weeks. I gained five pound of muscle. I gained so much energy and I felt amazing. I was like, holy moly, I didn't know it all. And what I love is that often when people got started on my nutrition plan, they're like, oh, now let me check the label. I'm like, since when have you checked a label for a Tootsie Roll or for anything else that you've eaten? Okay, all of a sudden people become very good label readers. When you don't even have the degree or the knowledge or the PhD to even know what's in these products. So I got started on the program, felt incredible, realized that the doctors and scientists who were behind this freaking knew what they were doing. And I'm like, I don't even need to research because this guy, I can just research this guy who definitely knows what he's doing. Nobel Prize winner, all this crazy doctor, PhD upon PhD. And so that was one of the things that changed my results. I, got, I let somebody help me with a nutrition plan. And what I love about what we do is, if you're, if you're not familiar, is we help people one-on-one. -on -one. You get a personal call with a coach, uh, either me or one of my coaches, they're all amazing, and we guide you through it. We get you part of our client chat. You get part of our access to our live calls. And, and to me, that was different. I wasn't very good at following something that I just saw online. Like, I need that accountability. I needed, I needed that community. So I don't know about you, but you know, that's just how I work. And all the nutrition plans are up on the rebecca-louise.com website if you need them. Uh, so for me, like that was a big game changer, is actually learning from somebody who already had the results that I wanted and actually being able to talk to someone, like I can text them. And I'm like, hey, am I doing this right? Because like the last thing you want to do is start something online and then you have so many questions about it and no one's there to answer your questions. So that was a huge game changer for me. Number six, this kind of leads into it. If you haven't seen the results that you want, you just haven't asked for the right results. You haven't asked for the result. You haven't asked for the advice. So you could be sitting there like, oh, I really want to do really good. And I'm like, I want to get results, but I don't know how. And then you're like, oh, no one will help me. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. There is so much help out there. It is crazy the amount of freaking unbelievable content that is free online. For one. Number two, you can definitely reach out to us. We're here to help. That's the service that we provide. So you just haven't asked. Maybe you haven't asked the right person too. Maybe you've asked for help. But you haven't asked the right person. So think about that. Have you asked the right person? Have you even reached out for help? I want to add something onto this. Because I've always felt like I've asked people for help. I like to pick their brains and ask some things. I wasn't always asking the right people or, or attracting the right people. So what I found is that when I started to become the type of person that I wanted to attract or I wanted to get information from, those people started to come to me. So I had a big mindset shift that I needed to become that person first 
and then those type of people were those type of people were gonna reach out and want to help me. It wasn't like I was just waiting for someone. Oh, someone come and rescue me! Could someone come and rescue me? I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for someone to come and get me. No, you can't have that attitude. You can't have that mindset. You have to be the person first. You have to be the leader. You have to step into your greatness first for you to attract the right people around you. It's not just going to turn up. You have to be that person first. And number seven, why have you not seen results? Consistency. This is like the biggest thing that and biggest piece of advice that I can give you is you just haven't been consistent long enough. I guarantee you that you will see results as soon as you start to implement the action, you do it for long enough, you're consistent, and you fully commit. Like consistency is so key. I think we hit four years on YouTube yesterday, on the 4th of March, when I'm, I'm filming this day after. We hit four years. Every single week, for four years, on a Sunday, we just switched it to a Monday, I released a new workout. That's called consistency. Because I knew, I was so certain, that as long as I was consistent, I was going to be able to have success. Consistency. If I had just put out one video every couple of months, do you think the channel would be where it is right now? Absolutely not. Guys, you gotta wake up. It is not gonna be just put on the plate for you. It's not just gonna be like, oh, here's a nice silver platter. Here you go. You have gotta fight for it. You've gotta work for it. You've gotta be consistent. You gotta find out why that's important to you. If everything came easy, we'd all just be running around absolute like it would be too easy. You have to fight for things in this life. I promise you, if you just stick to your goals, if you stick to your deep burning desire, you're gonna get amazing results. So let's close it out there. Quickly, consistency. Stay committed, do it for long enough, ask for advice. And become that person, become that person that you want to attract. Whew, okay, Penny is wiped up, my dog next to me, she is done. The squirrel has now left, and I can't even see, oh, no, Alfie is in his other bed. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me today on this podcast. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about health and nutrition throughout the year, so if you're not already following It Takes Grit podcast, please go over there. Um, and just comment and let me know what questions you have about health and fitness. I know I got some comments the other day and I'm going to start to uh, to do more of that about health and fitness and also adding in the motivation stuff as well. So thanks again for joining me on It Takes Grit podcast. I love lighting up your fire, building a bit of fire up your butt on this Wednesday or whatever day that you guys are watching it and just have a great rest of your day. See you later. Okay, guys, well, I'm not sure, but my podcast decided to stop filming at one point. Uh, but no problem. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next week. Bye.